Welcome to Headlines from Hell, a Christian Issues Update where the devil is in the details. Here are Kevin and Kristen Collier. Welcome to the update. The topic pulled from today's headlines, the media's coverage of satanic events. And we pose the question, are public satanic displays a devil's ploy to distract Christians? Joining me is my wife, Kristen. Kristen, you have a prayer to share. I am very concerned for American men. It is for you I offer this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for my brothers and for your brothers, Mark 3.35, here in America. By focusing on worldly events rather than their mission to go and make disciples, Matthew 28.19, many of our brothers have been deceived by Satan into fighting the wrong battle. Holy Ghost, I pray for these men in particular because you created men to be on the front lines. Remind them that it is not our Father's will that any should perish. Matthew 18.14 Replace their fear with your power, love, and a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1.7 Fill them with your fierceness and wrath, Jesus. Revelation 19.15 So the world sees the God who is a consuming fire. Hebrews 12.29 Help them to be strong in you and in the power of your might. Ephesians 6.10 So our brothers reflect the King of Kings who is coming soon in power and great glory, Luke 21, 27, who has all authority in heaven and on earth, Matthew 28, 18, and who is with them always, Matthew 28, 20. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, Kristen. Recently in Switzerland, an event marking the opening of the Goddard Tunnel took place that was full of overtly satanic imagery and dress. World leaders were at this event, and it gained a lot of attention in the media. This is one of several things we've seen recently, where satanic displays get a lot of attention in the media. I spoke about this with the Reverend Dr. Alfonso Espinoza. Reverend Dr. Alfonso Espinoza, pastor of St. Paul's Lutheran Church of Irvine, California, is a graduate of Concordia University and Theological Seminary who specializes in teaching Christian apologetics, theology, and is the author of many essays. Thank you, Dr. Espinoza, for joining us. Happy to do it, Kevin. Thank you, sir. Dr. Espinoza, concerning the Goddard Tunnel satanic imagery event and other such public displays of a demonic nature, is this the devil's way of distracting us from applying attention to our home environment, community, and local churches? It certainly is one of the ways, and it's a serious distraction as a result. We know from Scripture that we have an unholy trinity, so to speak, of our own sin and then the evil influences in the world, and then, of course, the adversary, the devil himself. And these all work in concert to accomplish the main goal of the enemy, which is to rob us of our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And whatever he can do in the world to distract us, to take our eyes off of the author and perfecter of our faith, the Lord Jesus Christ, he will do. It's easy for people to get into the mindset that what happens in the secular realm is strictly non-religious, but Paul tells us very clearly that our battle is not against flesh and blood. What appears to be innocuous or what appears to be of secular origin is in fact always going to be subject to a spiritual influence. And it's either going to be something that is good or helpful, or something that is distracting and detracting from the gospel. So this tunnel situation is certainly a candidate for that sort of thing. Dr. Espinoza, doesn't the mainstream media, which inherently leans left, exploits these satanic public displays because it supports their anti-Christian agenda? Yeah, you know, I think that it's uh, an inescapable situation Any living, breathing human being, regardless of how they might claim to be neutral or claim to be irreligious or claim to be operating in a neutral system, in spite of their claim, inevitably and invariably has to represent some kind of spiritual influence. And there's only two sides. There's either the side of God, where we serve Him and glorify Him, or there's a side that is against Him. And we have to understand that the side that is against Him is not something that merely is a bump on the log that is helpless to save itself, but is something that is intrinsically fighting against God. And, of course, this is the fundamental situation regarding what the Church has referred to as original sin. But when it goes without the salvation in Jesus and the beginning of the new creation, it literally runs amok. And so if those are the kinds of representatives we have working in the media, Mm -hmm. then there's going to 
be not a neutrality, but a deliberate religious message that at the end of the day will very much militate against saving Christianity. I think the facade that is put forth by the media is that it is a virtue to be politically correct, which in the case of our modern culture in America is to be, in fact, pluralistic. Mm -hmm. And that's a fancy way of saying that we want to embrace all ideas, all religions, all worldviews, all spiritualities. And I think, you know, the saying, Kevin, if you believe in everything, then you really believe in nothing. And at the end of the day, you're denying the true God. So, yeah, it's definitely a platform for a negative influence against the gospel. Thank you, Dr. Espinosa, for joining me. A pleasure, brother. And I thank God for your ministry. And please keep up the good work. And always happy to fellowship with you. Thank you, sir, and for your ministry and service to God. Okay, have a good day. Well, that wraps up Headlines from Hell for this time. Feel free to email us at confrontingthedevil at mail.com. Thank you for joining us. Keep your eyes on the news and keep your eyes on Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Visit our homepage at confrontingthedevil.blogspot.com. Thank you.